Hey everyone, it's Stephanie here, and I have very little voice because I just came back from Comic Con. I had a really busy Comic Con, and one of the really exciting things uh, that I did this Comic Con was like it was almost all fashionably nerdy. So um, most of the stuff I did was fashionably nerdy, and um, I wanted to go ahead and do my haul video. So first things first, my Comic Con backpack. I got a Westworld one when I checked in and I didn't use it at all and then getting on the train to come home, the strap broke. So I tried to take really good care of it, but that didn't happen. Here's my hat. Totally not swag. I just packed it in there. Okay, so on top, this is a really cute bunny and it's not really swag. Um, Ashley Eckstein uh, gave it to Lulu. Lulu, this is for you. It's your little white rabbit because her middle name is Alice. I like it. I like it. Okay, take it. Okay. <laughs> mm. Bye okay. bye, mommy. You like it? Daddy will take off the tag. DC Comics. Um, this is like a limited edition print. Uh, we got it before anyone knew that this was happening. Uh, and I had to hold on to it. But it says, The Dark Knight's Rise. Metal. It's like a limited edition print. Graphic Lab Tees. They're like one of our favorite t-shirt brands. Um, <clears throat> GraphicLabTees.com. They gave me this really awesome Bandersnatch tank. Um, or I bet Bandersnatch. A Jabberwocky tank. Beware the Jab Jab Bird and Sean the Brumius. The bandu snatch. It says, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the frumious bandu snatch. No, it doesn't say it. It just says, the claws that bite, the. Wait, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. And I love this style of tank. Yeah, they're my favorite. Um, this is an O ball for Lulu. Uh, it fell from the sky. No one around me knew where it came from, and Lulu loves these, so I'm gonna disinfect this, and she got a random toy. Slap bracelet from Wired Cafe. These were our badges to get into Wired Cafe, a slap bracelet. This is also from DC Comics from The Press Breakfast. It's a reusable tote that says DC Superhero Girls. Not as familiar with this fandom. I mean, like, I'm familiar with the characters, but I've never watched the little clips. Um, but now that there's Lulu, I really want to. A Green Lantern co-starring Colonel Sanders. Stop, this is the new Green Lantern co-starring Colonel Sanders. It's finger licking never again. My brother is a huge, huge, huge fan of Green Lantern, so I think I may have to send him this. Con exclusive Wonder Woman uh, 26 cover with Gal Gadot. It's holographic, super cool. DC Superhero Girls original graphic novel, Summer Olympics. Really excited for Lulu to have her first graphic novel. Supergirl being super pencil case pouch with some metallic sharpies and a pencil. A DC Superhero Girls Intergalactic Games original movie DVD. A Harley Quinn 25th Anniversary Journal. Really excited for this. We'll have a lot of Harley Quinn stuff this year on the site of FashionablyNerdy.com. DC uh, Comics insoles that you can either have cold or warm. Um, I really need these right now in con recovery mode. My feet are killing me. Some hand sanitizer to, you know, uh, prevent con plague. This is super cute. These were at our tables in the morning. Um, they have Batman and Catwoman on them. Recently, Batman proposed Catwoman, so there's a picture of that. And then you flip it open and it says, marry me. And then there is a ring pop in mystery flavor, a Wonder Woman press kit, some Orbit gum, and I think this might have been my favorite thing just because it's so cute, is a little tiny DC deodorant. That was all in that reusable DC Superhero Girls bag. The next thing in here are my placards from my panels. 
we had that Spark Your Creativity panel placard and the Let's Get Fashionably Nerdy placard. And then um, Sam couldn't be there with us this year and this was our first time having a Fashionably Nerdy panel at Comic-Con. So um, I had a placard made for her that sat next to us um, at our panel and so it felt like she was there with us. I'm gonna be sending off to Sam, so very excited to send her that. We were really sad that she couldn't be there this year. These rainbow sunglasses, these came from the Wired Cafe, and it's like the only swag I got at the Wired Cafe, which is weird, because they always give out a bunch of stuff, but I was only there for five minutes. So I got a pair for myself, because they're rainbow, and so I got a pair for Sam. This is an eye mask that I got from the Geekscape booth where I did a signing on Saturday. It says regenerating 7 of wine.com. I think it's a new podcast with Geekscape and it's an eye mask. This is the dress I wore in the Her Universe fashion show. So that's from Her Universe. This is from Day two of the DC press breakfast is a DC reusable tote, a metal tee. Let me show you what this looks like. It's real cool. So it's Dark Knight's Metal Tour. It's the long sleeve. Um, has Batman on it and then like a whole bunch of other logos of superheroes. And then the back has a looks like a tour tee and it has like tour dates except it's like the different comics in the series. Wildstorm 25th anniversary mask thing. Aha, I see you. This is a Young Animal mixtape comics for dangerous humans, mature readers, previews of the graphic novels curated by Gerard Way, print in here, a vinyl from, it's a record store day exclusive. And it's got a film excerpt of Poggy's Cavern and Into the Cave We Wander, music that's written and performed by Ray Toro and Gerard Way. And it includes a DC Young Animal comic book, collector's piece. Mad Magazine, Mad About Trump Cookie from Tiffany's Sweet Spot. This one's kind of dirty. Also in here, Dark Days of the Forge. We've got some, oh, got a lovely, um, like, metallic uh, cover with Batman and Aquaman. And then on the back, Dark Days, the castle, prelude to metal. We've got Batman, the Joker, and Green Lantern. Again, so shiny. Uh, we have a metal journal, the American Way, those above, those below. 10th anniversary Vertigo graphic novel American Way. And we have one of those cool like things you stick on the back of your phone that is a DC logo comics. Oh, Camille went to Hamilton in San Francisco the day of preview night and she got something for Lulu, not from Comic-Con, but I got it at Comic-Con. So I'm gonna think of it as swag, but it's just a present from Camille. It says, I'm just like my country, I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. I'm not throwing away my shot, cause I'm just like my country, I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. Lulu's playing with the bunny still, it's really cute. And her universe fashion show stuff. So this is the bag that the audience got. Um, super cool Her Universe fashion show tote bag on one side says Hot Topic. Um, so, uh, oh, my friend Joe Beth got me this from the audience bag. Um, a Ray pop figurine. Super excited about that. I love Ray. I love that I have her pop. All the bags had itty bitties in them and each one had a different one. I saw a bag that had Thor in it and I was like, oh my god. I really want that Thor itty bitty. I didn't get it, but I did get Aquaman. It's Hot Topic t-shirt. The program book. It shows all the designs that were in it. Um, some metallic tattoos from Love and Madness. 
uh, pop-minded Hallmark uh, collector ornaments and itty bitties guide. Some Pinkaboo cats can have I can has manicure uh, from Espionage Cosmetics. These are really cute. I haven't seen these ones before. A greeting card that says "Put on your happy face." And it has holographic Darth Vader. A Star Wars Ahsoka Tano itty bitty uh, button. Some hot polish black heart beauty black sparkly nail polish in a skull shape. And that was all for the audience bag. I have just an extra bag in here. Oh, I think this is a bag I brought from last year's fashion show. I have an enamel pen from Jordan Denae. This is I Know My Value. Gotta love Jordan. My Comic-Con badge, my pro badge, and also my Her Universe Fashion Show badge on just a plain black lanyard. I have my Comic-Con welcome box that has a Comic-Con 2017 enamel pen. This was supposed to be sent to you in the mail, but mine never came, so. I got my Game of Bloggers CrazyForComicCon.com badge from the Game of Bloggers event. And then I have my model bag. So when you model for Her Universe the Fashion Show, you get a gift bag for modeling. And this is what came in it. A, um, <laughs> a thing from my nail wraps I'm wearing stuck to it. Um, from Loungefly, a Captain Phasma wallet. Now that I'm a mom, I totally need a nice big mom wallet, and I don't really have one, so this is great. And I actually don't own anything from Loungefly, so this is my first Loungefly piece, this Captain Phasma wallet. A Jen Urso bobblehead from Funko, uh, and I love Jen, and I love Rogue One, so very excited to have Jen in our life, and her eyes are just so cute. Love and Madness tattoos. I have an Espionage Cosmetics nail file. Sakura Blossom nail wraps, and these are the ones that, that have glitter on them. They make them in glitter and not glitter. So this is the Sakura Blossom cherry blossoms with glitter. A Star Wars established 1977 patch. A Her Universe gift card. A Hot Topic gift card. Package that my nail wraps came in. Ahsoka Lives sticker. A Love and Madness choker with some stars on it. That's real. This just came because I met Nicole from Disney Style and she gave me a Disney Style enamel pen. More black sparkly nail polish. A Hot Topic sticker that says hashtag Hot Topic. Some barrettes from Love and Madness. There's a Millennium Falcon and a Yoda. A fangirl button that my friend Coleman found me. A Vader patch. A BB-8 patch. And then these two things are not from the fashion show gift bag, but they came from the fashion show. So Espionage Cosmetics did the makeup for the fashion show and um, I love them and they were super, super, super excited to share these with me before, before people get them in the pre-order. I have the new palettes. <sighs> this is the Colveria palette, I think is what, how you say it. Colveria, maybe? I don't know that it says it on here. But this is the like Harry Potter wizarding themed palette. Now it doesn't have the brush in it yet because these aren't ready for sale yet, you know, like they, the brushes, they have manufactured separately, so it has no brush in it, but it does have the shadows, and they're super cool. So I'll do videos watching and showing you a little bit more of this later. And then also, the RPG um, video gaming and tabletop gaming RPG palette. So these are, I'm super, super, super excited to use these and tell you all about my pretties. I love them. So I'm super excited to use them 
And make sure you check out fashionablynerdy.com where I'll have the full reviews of everything and styling and all the above. Um, we super duper missed you if we didn't see you at Comic Con. Uh, check us out, we'll be at LA Comic Con and plenty of other conventions in between. We're super happy to have Bonnie and Xander and Anastasia and Melly all there, and we were super sad that Sam was not. We also announced that Ashley Trobe uh, is now our special beauty and cosmetics. Uh, correspondent so uh, we announced that at Comic Con and we are really excited about that and um, yeah we had a really fun meetup for Fashionably Nerdy we had a really fun panel and then uh, Bonnie and I were both modeling in the fashion show and it was just it was a really great week I'm just I lost my voice like you should and I had a great time. So I will see you at SDCC 2018 and uh, I love you. Bye. Mwah.